playful poem. Mm -hmm. uh, a woman approached me in the First National Bank and she said, Bill, I know you're a good cook. And my mother just received a chain letter of a recipe. And what you're to do is cross the name off the top of the list and put your name at the bottom of the list and then mail a recipe to the ten people on the list. Mm -hmm. And in two weeks, my mother is going to get hundreds of recipes. Will you do this? So I said, okay, I'll do this. And this, this, this lady is a, a wonderful um, children's story writer for uh, uh, a magazine, and she teaches at the Iowa Summer Workshop. And, mm -hmm. uh, so I, I said, sure, I do that. Well, then I wrote this recipe. And by the time I'd finished the recipe, I'd lost the letter. <laughs> but this, this, this is the recipe, and it is about an English pudding, which is called a trifle, and it's called fairy trifle, the elegant pudding. In a large yellow tulip, mix up a batter of little girl giggle, two-thirds cups grandmother's double chin jiggle, two heaping teaspoons full, Puppy tail wiggles, stir by the light of the moon, set mixture aside. In a pink lady slipper, combine equal parts of bunny nose twitches, cartwheels and skipping, whirling and twirling, sliding and slipping, tickling and teasing, and squealing with glee. Tea parties pouring invisible tea. Leapfrog and somersaults, goldfish and snails, inchworms and ladybugs, pollywog tails, toes through the clover, and leaf jumping piles, mud pies and butterflies, dimples and smiles, sift through a fuzzy cocoon. Fold into tulip mixture. Bake at dawn in the light of cheese. Serve at sunrise. Praise God. What a beautiful.